In the beginning there was Arduino Uno, development board I started with seven years ago. When projects moved to breadboard, Arduino Nano was perfect. And then ESP chips arrived. Cheap, fast and with Wi-Fi wi wi support, they slowly replaced Arduinos in my projects. In last year you saw many videos featuring LilyGo and M5 stack boards on my channel. But here is board that I haven't used much. This is tiniest ESP32 board I have. This is M5 Atom Lite board. This tiny development board have only few available input output pins. Six of them plus two in this groove connector. It has also built-in push button that can be use, uh, used and there is also a RGB LED underneath. It has infrared emitter so you can use it as TV remote control or something similar. This plastic case is also useful. Case can be removed and now Atom looks much better, but, is, but it is also more fragile. Most time I need some kind of display. I love when I see data or information. So in this video I will show you ways to connect OLED display to this tiny ESP board. I decided to use OLED because uh, I square C OLEDs don't need too many pins. I will show you how to set up Arduino IDE and I will give you some uh, code examples so you can try on your OLED. But first I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Or you can buy me a coffee. I have my uh, profile on coffee site. Check description, links will be there. There is few types of OLED display. I use only four pins I square C OLED displays. I have them in different sizes as you can see but uh, this one 128 by 64 pixels is the most common and cheapest. So we will use this one. Atom have a built-in push button so we can use it to play Floppy Bird game I wrote it a couple years ago. You can check my old video about this project. I will put link in the description. Feel free to check other videos also. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Simplest project. This will be simplest project that needs only M5 Atom and OLED. But first you will need to install M5 Atom library in Arduino IDE and you will also need to install this fast OLED library for ESP boards. All the links are in the description and you will also find code there. Here is code of game. Uh, if you leave it this way you will use these four pins. ESP32 chip is great. You can use most of pins as I square C pins. I also prepared this small breadboard to build this project on breadboard also. If I add battery I have tiny game console. You can also add buzzer and now we have sound also. I'm using active buzzer and keep in mind that buzzer can harm your chip if current is too high. Don't use buzzer if you are not sure how much current buzzer needs. I'm using uh, this small 100 ohm resistor also to limit current. And now we can play game. Feel free to use this code and modify it. On. Now 
that's it i hope you like this tiny atom uh, development board i also uh, hope that you like my uh, simple game um, code of that game is very old i wrote it uh, like three years ago so the name of var variables are uh, still in croatian language uh, i'm sorry for that i will try to find some time and translate whole code to english so you can understand it better that's it please subscribe and uh, have a nice day check links in description goodbye